week, but uh, maybe just on some of the younger players. And, and obviously, a situation like this is their time to prove themselves. And anyone, did anyone jump out? Did Javon, Malik Williams, any of these guys who were sort of uh, Jordan, any of them kind of show you something that you were hoping to see? Um. You know what? Uh, the, all of those guys that you mentioned, they, they had uh, moments that uh, they did really good job, and uh, also they had moments that did not shine on the court. But uh, we, when you work with young players, you gotta understand that those moments are gonna happen. You know, and all of that is is a part of uh, learning for them. It's uh, it was very valuable for us to see those guys on the court and to see all the strengths and all the limitations uh, that they have, so we can address it during the summer. So we can really work on that to improve. Is that? Uh, defensive slides, is that uh, speed hover closing out to the three-point line, is that boxing out, is that uh, playing uh, stronger with the ball. You know, all of us, we can witness that that uh, there is uh, less foul calls being called after all-star break, so there has to be some adjustment there in a skill work, how to play through contact more. So I, I think uh, that this whole journey, this whole year, with all the obstacles that we, that we had, also presented us a lot of answers and uh, gave us a lot of a uh, lot of uh, stuff to think about when we build the, the team in the future. I know you spoke about it a little bit in pregame about the chemistry in this team, but you bring up obstacles. Like there was a moment during the game where Garrett drew a foul and the bench was standing up and cheering for him. Just seeing the chemistry and camaraderie this team has after kind of everything they've went through, what does it mean to you as a coach? Uh, it, it means a lot, you know, and uh, that's what I uh, literally told uh, to our guys in the locker room. Uh, their ability to, to stick with each other and to, to have trust uh, through all ups and downs that, that this season uh, brought on us uh, speaks a lot about character of, of the guys that we had. And uh, I'm really proud of them uh, sticking together all the way to the end. That was actually going to be my question was what was the message in the locker room after the game? So if there's anything else to care to expand on? Or is it just I mean, um, the other part of the message is like uh, our focus on on summer and our focus on development and improvement and uh, you know everything that we can do to to be better uh, individually. Me as a coach, uh, each player is individually. We as a group, what we can do better, what we can learn, what are the skills that we can acquire during the summer for us to 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 make a next uh, next step for us. Um, so just to pick up your point on summer. When do you start that planning in terms of like putting it in a bucket of like, okay, this is the things that we need to work on, kind of get that going? Do you wait until the season's end? You can have that kind of 82 games or are you kind of in the back of your mind putting those ideas there to kind of tackle for, for that time off? All of those plans are made and ready and uh, we just need to get after it now and execute. But we have all the plans for each player, for, 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 the, you know, for everybody, everything is ready to roll. And then, uh, Coach, I know the season has been very long and a lot of hurdles that we talked about pregame. Will you be taking any time off, or is it straight to the grind with these players? Um, for sure. I am going to take some uh, time off, uh, spend a little bit of time with, uh, with my family. Uh, you know, they miss me a lot this year. I did not spend enough time with them. So there's going to be a little bit of downtime, but at the same time, uh, preparation once we get in the trenches to continue working and getting our guys better. Thanks for watching the Toronto Raptors YouTube channel. Check out our latest videos and subscribe for more. Trent answers back. Gary, Gary sidestep. Three.